Welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of one of our H110 boards. Now to the left you can actually see we're going to be looking at our H110M S2H-GSM. Now this board is actually a part of our GSM program in the United States and Canada. For those of you guys that don't reside in that region, this board is still available to you just without the GSM benefits. Now we're going to cover around the, uh, the box as well as what's on the board, but we're going to highlight some of the features of a GSM board. So from the front of the box, you can actually see that GSM stands for Gigabyte Stable Models. And this board is just one of the boards of many within this list. The board provides for a reliable product supply. It has 14 plus months product life cycle. It has a three year warranty, an easy enrollment program, and of course, advanced replacement service. For those of you guys that want to, uh, that are system integrators or are small businesses and you guys choose to use these boards, you always have the option of doing advanced replacement service. Now, on the back of the board, you can actually see that it shows the key features of the board, such as the long lifespan solid capacitors, high quality audio capacitors that we provided on some of our other gaming boards. But for the most part, it's very straightforward. We have one D sub or VGA connector, a DVI-D, HDMI, six USB ports, two of which are USB 3.0, a gig E LAN, as well as audio connectors. Now, this board is using an Intel H110 chipset, so it does support the newest sixth generation Intel Core processors. So let's take the board out as well as with the accessories and we'll see what you guys get. All right, now that we have all the accessories laid out in front of us, let's go over them very quickly. You can see that we do have a driver disc for the 100 series H110 board. We have a user's manual that covers the H110 MS2H if you're purchasing it in other regions. We have our GSM version, which we're showing here today, as well as a DDR3 version, as this board supports DDR4. We have a specific DDR3 version that takes DDR3. A rear I.O and two SATA connectors, uh, two SATA cables, one being a right angle connector and another being a straight connector. And of course, for the US region, they do have a comment survey that you can actually fill out online and win a BRICS product. So let's get these out of the way and we can talk more about the board. So for the motherboard, we talked about some of the features earlier, but just so you can see some of the placement locations and what it actually has on it, it has two DIMM slots for DDR4, the 24 pin power connector, USB 3.0 front panel connector, four SATA 3s, which allow for six gigabits per second throughput, your front panel headers, two USB front panel headers, a TPM connector, as well as your audio and COM ports right here. Now, uh, a lot of times Gigabyte will introduce a lot of technologies that we've provided on our high end onto some of our more budget or mainstream boards, such as our audio noise guard or path lighting. So this board actually has the noise guard and path lighting here, and it actually has better audio capacitors on the board. We also have some fan headers here, as well as an 8-pin CPU power connector and a CPU fan header as well. Now moving to the back of the board, this we talked about earlier when we were looking at the color box. We have a, a Gig E NIC with six USB 3.0s, two being USB, uh, six USB 2.0s, two being USB 3.0s, a VGA or D sub, and a DVI-D, and an HDMI, and two PS2s. So basically, this board has a lot of features if you're looking for a basic budget board to do for a desktop computer. And one of the big benefits, of course, is that it's part of the GSM program. So if you're doing system builds and you need advanced replacement service, this is definitely a board that I would consider and you guys can use for future projects. Thanks for joining us this time. We'll see you guys next time for some of our other unboxings or DIYs. And remember to like and subscribe and comment below and tell us what you think. Thanks, guys.